everyone. Hope you're doing well. I miss you. Um, I'm hoping we can see each other really soon. But until that time, I'm going to go ahead and continue to put the lessons on YouTube so that you can listen to what I have to say. Um, and hopefully it helps you out. Now, today's lesson is super simple and it's super quick. The only problem is if you don't have a ruler, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, so hopefully you've been able to find a ruler or you probably could actually print one out on the internet if you don't have one, just a paper one, it'll work exactly the same way. So if you have a ruler, you're gonna be in really good shape. We're gonna start with packet page 178. It looks like this, it's the seashell and then the eraser at the bottom. There's not a lot to today's lesson, um, just a few things to review and they actually have you measuring on your own. So the first one um, says Dawson found a shell. How long is the shell in centimeters? Now the one thing I want you to remember, how do you know if you're using inches or centimeters? Remember, it tells you on the ruler. 12 inches in a ruler, 30 centimeters on a ruler. Um, and it should say the word inches and centimeters. So look for that, so uh, that can help you out. So this shell we're measuring in centimeters and the ruler says centimeters. Now probably your ruler um, has centimeters and inches on the same side. Most of them do and it will tell you which one's centimeters, which one's inches. Um, some rulers have centimeters on one side and you flip it over for inches on the other side. So you can kind of take a look at that. Okay, so the answer was five centimeters. Notice how they lined the seashell up starting at the zero. They made a nice little dotted line. And then at the very far point, that very, very tip is the only thing that touches. They drew another line again and it goes down to five. Um, number 14, you're gonna try on your own with your ruler if you have it. If you don't have it, I'm thinking maybe um, you could find a ruler on one of your other homework pages and maybe fold it so you can measure it. For example, I'm looking at today's homework page and I'm thinking maybe if you fold it kind of like this and then lay it up against that line, it might work for you. So you're gonna go ahead and take your ruler and you're measuring this one in inches. Make sure you use the inches sign and it gives you um, the unit that you need right there. If you go to page 179 in your packet, this page is fairly quick and simple too. It's been really good. Um, the math lessons have been relatively easy. They're, um, they're probably gonna get more challenging, but I actually might change some things up, but I'll, I'll let you and your parents know that. Number 15 says, think about the length of the actual object. So we have a watch and we have a car. Over here, it says a tape measure, and here it says a ruler. You have to draw a line to the unit that would be correct. Would you measure the length of a watch with a tape measure or with a ruler? And then would you measure a car with a ruler or a tape measure? You're just gonna draw a line wherever you need to put it and match it up. And then number 16 says, what's the length of the craft stick in inches? We're using inches again. That's where you need to get your ruler. If you don't have one, like I said, um, use one of your worksheets from the beginning of the week. You should be able to fold it and measure it completely. So they have a line, that's where you're gonna put your zero on the very first dotted line, and you'll measure all the way to the second dotted line, and it, your answers are four, five, 10, or 11 inches. It says Jake chose letter C as the answer, but the answer is wrong. It's one of those questions. How did Jake get his answer? So. Measure it first. It doesn't ask you for a place for your answer, but it tells you what Jake wrote. And it says that his answer was wrong. Can you figure out what he did wrong? And you need to write it in words down here. So that's the packet for the day. Wasn't that easy? Nice and simple. Um, then your homework for today is going to be, let's see. 
I have everything at my table. It's getting all messed up. There we go. I had the packets. Okay. So your homework first is going to be page 197. Oh my goodness, what did I do with that? 197 is what we're looking at for your homework. Um, I hope. Sorry, guys. Oh, here it is. I, oh, no, I didn't. So 197, that's what we're looking at. Um, somewhere around here, I have page 198, but I'll find it. Okay, so what is the length of the crayon? They measured it for you starting at zero. You get to go ahead and circle the correct answer. And then there's a second part. It said Glenn chose A. He said the crayon was um, seven inches. He said the crayon was seven inches. Look at the ruler. And his answer is wrong. How did Glenn get his answer? Be careful. And then number two, Layla started drawing the line above the ruler. Here she is. Um, finish drawing the line to make it two inches. So she started at the zero and she drew a line to one inch, but the line is supposed to be two inches. So you're just going to take your ruler, try to make it as straight as you can, and make that line two inches. Number three, we're on page 198. Yes, I found it. Thank goodness. If you could see where I'm working, you would understand what is going on here. My home office has come, uh, become... Uh, I don't want to say unorganized, but not as organized as I'd like it to be because I have to move it every day. Okay, so number three, circle the objects that are easier to measure with a centimeter ruler and underline the objects that are easier to measure with a yard or a meter stick. Centimeter ruler, it's just the same as a ruler. A ruler has 12 inches in a ruler, 30 centimeters. Meter stick is 90. Meter stick is three rulers put together. So would you measure a park bench with a ruler or a meter stick? Um, underline it if it's a meter stick, circle it if it's a ruler, and then you have a stamp that goes in the corner of an envelope, a paper clip, and a sandbox. If you need more time, pause the video so you can finish it up. Number four, which piece of yarn is four centimeters long? Circle the correct answer. Be careful, they're trying to trick you. Remember things like where do you line it up? Where do you start? Um, how do you figure out the correct measurement? So you're gonna circle the correct answer. And number five, Jed wants to measure the length of the classroom chalkboard. Now classrooms don't have chalkboards anymore. Um, so you probably don't even remember what they look like. Actually you don't because you were kindergartners when the new building open. So unless you remember preschool chalkboards, you probably don't remember, but they're long. They used to cover the whole entire length of the front wall of the classroom so we could write on them. He wants to measure the length of the classroom chalkboard in inches. Which tool could he use? Circle all the correct answers. That means there might be one, two, three, or four answers. Could he use the tape measure? Could he use a yardstick? Could he use a meter stick? And could he use an inch ruler? You're gonna circle all the correct answers, okay? Now, remember, the length of a chalkboard. Let's think about our classroom. You know where our smart board is, right? Um, our smart board is really, really small compared to um, classroom chalkboards like we used to have. So if our classroom was not um, full of technology, and we had a chalkboard instead of a smart board, that chalkboard would go all across the front wall. So it would start behind the door, our classroom door, and it would go all the way across where um, our smart board is, and it would keep going to where my computer and telephone and my cabinet are in the back. That would be the length of a chalkboard. So it is pretty long. So. You can go ahead and decide which of those tools would you use or could you use. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help you in any way. You can email me. Uh, your parents can send me a remind. Um, we could chat on Zoom, whatever you need to do so that I can help you get this straightened out. 
Uh, please remember when you're finished with the homework, I don't need the packet page, but the homework pages 197 and 198, take a picture of those and download those into Seesaw so I can grade those. Some of you are really, really good at doing that. Um, some of you I haven't seen any. So what I do is I get that in Seesaw and I grade it and then I put it in your Seesaw folder. So when we get back to school, I can just pull up your folder and I have grades that I can go ahead and report for you. So, okay, everybody, um, have a great day. And this was, I don't even think I said it, this was um, your lesson for Thursday, April 9th. I'm sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. Okay, I miss you guys.